Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to uh, class today. Uh, so today I'm going to just briefly go over how to do in-text citations, which will be very uh, beneficial for you, uh, especially uh, since you're writing essays now and paragraphs. You'll need to reference uh, your information correctly. So, uh, the first uh, in-text citation I'll go through is paraphrase. So, probably some of you are wondering, what does paraphrase mean? Well, paraphrase means to basically summarize someone else's information. You're looking at someone's information, perhaps in a book or website, and then you're going to think about what they're saying and write it down in your own words. However, you'll still need to say where you got that information from because it's not your idea uh, originally, right? So I'll teach you how to do that uh, now. So first, uh, in-text citation will be how to paraphrase. So, first thing to remember, very, very easy, we always use the author's last name. So for example, we'll use Hawkins as a last name here. So maybe you would say Hawkins. There you go. Haw so last name, Hawkins, what would come next? We would put the year, so it would be the year of publication of the book or perhaps the website where you've got the information from. So in this case, let's say maybe 2010. So Hawkins, 2010, then what would come after this? Well, very importantly, you would have your reporting verb, right? What is a reporting verb? Well, a reporting verb would introduce your paraphrase, essentially. For example, you could have Hawkins 2010 uh, states. So you have states, or you could use uh, mentions. Also, you could use perhaps illustrates. So, illustrates. And then following this, you would have your paraphrase. You would have your summary of what you're saying uh, from Hawkins. So, just to recap for you there very quickly, always the last name, never the first, never the first name. Uh, you would then have the year. So the year, never the month. Always the year. And then you'd introduce your reporting verb. So in this case we've used mentions, states, and illustrates. And then you'd have your summary, uh, what you have said from the original source there. Remember you paraphrased it, you thought about it, put it into your own words. So that would come after your reporting verb here. So one more last time, remember last name, never the first name, always the last name, the year, never the month, and then you'd have your reporting verb. There's a lot of other reporting verbs you could use, but these are just some examples. And then you'd have your paraphrase here, your summary of what you're saying from Hawkins. Okay, thank you very much.